it must have been destiny or fate. Colin and Carly met on Sunday, July 27th in 2002 when they were four years old. Before you knew it, it was Christmas of 2012 and they were dating. <laughs> Fast forward through high school and college. Here we are today. We started with each other just as friends and I'm glad it grew even more. Funnily enough, I was nervous until I actually felt you stand behind me and this is the part I'm adding in now, <laughs> but it just kind of calmed me down and that's something I want forever. When we met Carly for the first time, she was so young and innocent, and look at her now. She is a pool hopper. She will sneak into your yard, no warning, no notice. Graham almost called the cops, but on the flip side of all that, she will invite you to swim with her. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> I remember when I first asked you to be my girlfriend, you hugged me with your ice pack on your forehead, and you just stared at me with your big blue eyes, and I knew I never wanted to let those go. I've known Colin for years, and Carly for even longer. We all know Carly is a wonderful person who deserves the perfect guy. Too bad you don't always get what you deserve. Some smartass in 2018 thought it would be a good idea to dare Colin to a duel. In fact, a race. And all of a sudden, we see Colin trip over his own feet and start wobbling on his way down. I won the race. I won the race. <laughs> he did, in fact, win that race. <laughs> Carly and Colin, I've watched you grow together as individuals. Well, did you look at you? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm excited to see what the future holds for the two of you. You need a tissue? No. Uh -huh. It calmed down when I saw you. Calm down, you were crying? <laughs> no, close. A little bit, I think your eyes are red. Hey. A little bit, that one. The months uh, and days leading up to today has been very surreal. You ready, Freddie? Are you ready, Freddie? Right. I'm ready, Freddie. <laughs> today we gather with Carly and Colin to celebrate this transformational moment in their lives. Car, first and foremost, you know, you are my best friend from the way you smirk to the way we get into our fun, goofy moods. <laughs> right down to the way your lip quivers when I know you're about to cry. <laughs> Those small little things that I want to experience with you and, and only you. I promise to never stop holding you like I'm not going to see you the next day. To grow with you through the good times and the bad. I promise to keep myself open to you, encourage your dreams, and be there during your challenges. You've always asked me to tell you what I love about you, and without a doubt, I've always failed. I promise to never stop cracking inappropriate jokes to make you smile, even if you don't necessarily always like them. I promise to only start one project at a time. <laughs> I can't promise you perfection, but my love for you, which is raw, stupid, crazy, fun, it'll always be here. I have come to realize that it's not about what I love about you, but how I feel about myself when I'm around you. <laughs> It is now my absolute honor to announce that you are husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Shelley. We are so very proud and honored to have this very beautiful person now officially in our lives. I welcome you with open arms and don't worry, you fit right in. Always have and always will. So one special thank you to Ken and Buffy for bringing Colin into this world because he makes my daughter uh, so very happy. Yeah,
thing together. The shopping, Thomas. Where is it? A, a kitty? 